What is going on guys? Welcome back. The video you're about to watch is taken from my full album reaction, which is live on Patreon. If you would like to support me directly as a creator, the link is in the description. Let's get into the video. Okay, right. Not bad. Um, more interested in the melody in that one as opposed to any of the kind of guitar work. I like how the snare is matching up with that uh, that beeping sound effect. Oh, that's so Linkin Park. Oh, he sounds so much like Chester there. It's definitely like a step back from the heavy side and more focused on maybe bringing in like a, a newer audience. That's I, I do get why people would be maybe a little bit disappointed with their newer sound. But I'm trying to be like very open-minded. Like, do I actually like this? Yes. Is it their older stuff? No, it's not. Okay, now it's not matching the snare anymore. I suppose a good way of looking at it is like if this band, if this was music that was released by a band that is an architect, I think that would be a better way of judging how good the album actually is because a lot of people will always compare, and I'm guilty of doing this as well. Like I'll always compare different albums, just the nature of how we listen to music. And you know, if you listen to a band years ago, naturally you're always gonna call back to their older stuff. Like I think that's kind of what I did with uh, Thornhill and their latest release with Heroin. Like I was so like strung out listening to the dark pool that when heroin came out i was expecting it to be like the dark pool part two so it kind of like didn't allow me to fully appreciate the you know the good parts of heroin because i've gone back to that a few times now and there's definitely tracks that really stick out to me that i'm like that's actually really good but at the time because it wasn't like fitting the narrative that i was expecting it just kind of like was lost it was like it fell on deaf ears i'll make the weird comparison but it's like almost the whole ronaldo and messi debate that always goes on you know, who's better, Ronaldo or Messi? And it's like, who cares? It's like trying not to, and I, like, I'm quite hypocritical saying this because I do this all the time with different bands. I'm like, oh, well, this doesn't sound like their older stuff, but trying to come now from a different perspective, like I've specifically told myself going into this album, I want to come in like completely open-minded as if I've never heard this band before. So it's like that Messi-Ronaldo debate. It's like, you're actually losing out on, you know, if you're a Messi fan and you just completely disregard, disregard everything that Ronaldo has done, then, you know, you're missing out on greatness because, you know, they're not going to be around forever and you're just like completely discarding the greatness that is Ronaldo or vice versa. If you're like a big Ronaldo fan, you're completely disregarding anything that Messi does because you just prefer Ronaldo and there's always this debate. So instead of like comparing the two, which, you know, that whole, that old saying, comparison is a thief of joy, you know, I'm trying very hard to just appreciate this. And that goes back to what I was originally saying. If this music was released by a band other than Architects, I think I'd be really fucking with it. I'd be like, who are these guys? You know, they sound so modern. They sound so cool. But because you're comparing it to the older architects, it always kind of falls on deaf ears. So yeah, not a bad start to the album whatsoever. Again, that was my first time hearing those two singles. Uh, I believe they were actual singles released before the album had dropped. So uh, we're going into Spit the Bone, which is new music on the album. So let's go. Now we're all cannibals. Okay, this one's definitely going to be divisive for the older fans, 100%. Even more so than the first two. The production just reminds me of Modern Bring Me the Horizon. I'm sorry, I always compare the two, but it just does. Now 
There it is. I know a lot of old school fans would be happy with that one. But I feel like without the bleh in the middle of that track, it would probably like be a massive miss with a lot of the older fans. Yeah, that's gonna grow me a lot. This track probably has done the least for me so far in this album. It just is very straightforward. Like, there's not enough melody to really catch me. Like, it doesn't sound too unique. And then, like, the, the instrumentation is just kind of like... Oh, yeah, open it up. Open it up! I said that's probably some of the best sounding guitar we've had in the album. But overall, track not massively hitting with me. When Sam hits those kind of like higher distorted vocals, that's some of my favorite work from him. I'm guessing this song's about like social media and wasting your life away. That reminds me of, um, that reminds me of one of Tool, one of my favorite lyrics from Tool is, uh, what is it again? Cause I need to watch, yeah, that's, I have to sing it to know what the lyrics are. While the whole world dies, you all needed to, something like that, you all needed to, don't lie. The lyrics in this track are reminding me of that, where, you know, this doom scrolling, I'm guessing, is, you know, talking about scrolling your phone all day. And it just reminds me of the, the lyrics in Vicarious, where... It's also like, you feel like we all love a tragedy, which is again, what Vicarious is, is like speaking about, you know, we all need it to, don't lie. Talking about, you know, seeing like you're almost magnetized to, you know, and I'm guilty for it as well. I'm sure you guys can all agree. Like if a video pops up and it's like content warning, you know, distressing video, be, you know, advised, you know, watch at your own discretion. Like, although, you know, you're probably going to ruin your own day. You can't help, but like, click into it and it's just one of these things like the humans kind of feed off this this tragedy thinking about it that track is was quite ahead of its time to be honest oh okay i like this part okay i think i would have liked another chorus to outro this but we're obviously not going to get it now I guess someone who's like expecting heavy from these guys is probably gonna be disappointed. I guess you just have to remove yourself from looking for like a massively heavy track anymore. That was probably the heaviest it sounded. Although I was, you know, I am being as open-minded as possible with this, but with being open-minded, there has to be a realm of objectivity and like trying to really appreciate this is proving to get harder and harder as I listen to more and more tracks because it doesn't feel like they have a lot of variety throughout each track. It does feel very samey. There's none of that like massively technical riffage that they've previously had. And I think that's why people can easily make the comparison between their new and older music is because they still have all of the core like fundamentals of what made them so melodic in older albums but they've like almost stripped back the, the the technicalities which is where people can i'd imagine get lost and why their music feels a little bit stale the more you listen to it because it's just like right i've heard like the first six tracks and nothing's massively changed what's the point of listening to the next five or six because it's just like well they haven't really proven any kind of like you know switch up you know i was loving it at the start i felt like the melody was great and everything but now i'm just kind of like is every track going to be the exact like somewhat similar with the slightest change at the, maybe the end of a track I don't know maybe I'm being too harsh okay now he's bringing the why does this always happen to me are we gonna step it up for the last part of the album I don't know why does I sound like mini mouse there Oh, 
Sam. Productions A1. Now, this definitely reminds me of the production on Bring Me the Rise of the Album. Don't bring that back. Hold on. Is it Kingslayer? Yeah, that sounds like Kingslayer, no? What track does this remind me of? Is it, uh... Is it Bring Me the... Bring me to life by Evanescence. Let's live a yeah, they're kind of gone back into that like predictability again. It's just like, right. I feel like we kind of dropped out of that for a bit. Like the last two tracks felt like a little bit of a heavier take on their newer sound, but it's just kind of like back to that, what I'd spoken about, you know? Interesting intro to the outro track. kind of energy that I was like maybe hoping for a little bit more scattered throughout the album just a little bit you know it's like last track they're just gonna go for it really Okay, so they did spruce it up a little bit, but just maybe a little bit too late. 